Hey everyone, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am a, oh, we're almost at two years, two year carnivore sharing my journey and my favorite part, lots of recipes. Today's video is sponsored by Tasty, this gorgeous air fryer right here. They sent me one to try and I've been using it all week. We have done tri-tips, New York strips, lots of New York strips. The best part about their air fryer, it has a thermometer built into it so there oop <laughs> just turned it on so there's no guesswork when your meat is done you don't need to poke at it please do not cut into it use this trusty little tool and you will know when it is perfectly cooked so today i'm going to show you guys three different air fryer recipes i've got my little tri-tip right here we are going to make bacon cheese burger meatballs and chicken thighs if that sounds amazing give this video a thumbs up and a reminder that i also have a cookbook coming out and you can pre-order that right now on amazon barnes and noble target walmart all the stores online and it comes out october 1st we are going to start with a tri-tip first i just got this at my local grocery store it is a popular cut in california so these are like always on sale for usually like 4.99 a pound if you can't find a tri-tip, which can we talk about that for a second? I don't know why it's so hard to find elsewhere. Like this is in every cow. So I don't know why it's hard to find, but if you can't find it, I mean, you can ask your butcher, but picanha would be the next closest thing. It's pretty similar. It just has more of a thicker uh, fat cap on top. All I use is salt on mine. You can use regular salt. I love to use smoked salt. This one is from Redmond's and I sprinkle a lot on here. And the good thing with, we're going to do both sides, this air fryer is you don't need to preheat it. So we're just going to pop it right in. Oh, this one's fatty. Yeah, baby. We're going to just pop it right in. And of course, I have my trusty thermometer, so I know exactly when mine will be done. But it's going to be roughly, we're going to do 400 degrees for about 40 minutes. Just give or take on what size. They're usually anywhere between two and three pounds. Mine, I think it said like two and a half. Of course, I ripped it right where it says that. <laughs> Mine is 2.6 pounds. So we're going to pop it in, get our little thermometer in. You want to put it center. Like if you're using this that has a bone, you don't want it to be touching the bone. So you just want to get it into the most center part. But since I'm going to be flipping it halfway, instead of just shoving it on the top, I'm going to come through the side. Another easy way, can you see this? <laughs> is to kind of like measure on here like okay i want it to be here so i'm gonna roughly like i'm not gonna stick it all the way to this end it's gonna be right there so that way it will be an easy flip too so when i flip it over it won't be laying on the thermometer we are going to put this in the basket it also has a metal rack but i'm not going to use it for this i'm going to save that for the meatballs so we're just going to set it in and i'm going to have the thermometer face this side so it can come out nicely so you just want to put it in just like that and then we're going to put the basket in and we'll plug this in let's get up close and personal okay so what's cool about this it has like a very beautiful screen that it uses it has different settings so i'll show you the settings it has steak fish chicken pork you can go rogue and do your own with air fry or you can slow cook and it also has a dehydrate function which is awesome so i'm going to set this i'm going to do air fry at 400 degrees and i'm going to cook it for about 40 minutes i'm going to flip it halfway but this is going to tell me where my internal temperature is the whole time all right can we just talk about how i just messed something up okay first here are the meatballs i did all the filming for the meatballs went to turn off my microphone because i have some dead time and i realized the microphone was already off so my phone because something is plugged into it for this didn't pick up any of the sound and i don't have the stuff to to redo the recipe so i'm going to salvage salvage what i can from the footage i have just with me um but i just want to show you these are the meatballs for the recipe it is one pound of ground beef let me get it where is it? What did I do? <laughs> Guys, I am the worst at this. One pound of ground beef, one egg, half a pound of cooked bacon, which I burned, so that's amazing too, teaspoon of salt, half a cup of shredded cheese. All right, so here's the part where I am not amused that I burned the bacon. I like to bake mine at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. 
You're going to add your ground beef to a bowl. Take a block of cheese and freshly grate it yourself. Pre-grated cheese at the store often has powders and starches to keep it from clumping. Add your salt, add your egg, and then you're gonna add your burnt, hopefully not burnt, bacon. Crumple all that up. Then you're gonna wanna mix it up real good. You're going to get it in one even patty, divide it into four. And then with each of those four pieces, you're gonna divide it into two. This will give you a total of eight meatballs. And once you have your eight chunks, you're gonna roll them really nicely into balls. Put them on the rack and then they are all ready to go into the air fryer. Tri-tip is done. Mine took 45 minutes. The internal temp is 115. It's gonna sit and rest and it will go up probably about 10 degrees. So it will be around 125. Um, and that's perfect for like a nice medium rare. I mean, come on, how good does this look? I'm so glad I'm not fasting right now. You can tell squishy in the middle still, but a nice crust. <laughs> humana, humana. My little meatballs have been waiting patiently for their turn in line. Okay, so we're gonna stick, let's see, one in the center. We're gonna plug it in. We're gonna do 400 degrees for about 15 minutes or until the thermometer shows me 160. I didn't think this through. I'm totally gonna burn my hand. <laughs> I gotta lower it in with tongs. Jeez, Courtney. All right, we made it, except for the thermometer came out, okay. All right, plug that in. We're gonna turn it on air fry. 400 degrees for about 15 minutes and I will check the temp around that time. I'm gonna get the chicken thighs ready. So I do bone in, skin on. Oh my gosh, crispy chicken thi thin, crispy chicken skins. They're like chips. And sometimes I will, <laughs> you know what? Should I even say this out loud? When I make it for my family, sometimes I will eat, um, a few of the chicken skins and then just give them the meat and hopefully they have no idea. I'm actually using um, Redmond's lemon pepper. So if you are the carnivore police, you didn't see this. You can just use salt. It's really delicious with just salt, but I'm gonna do a little lemon pepper today. And I also like to put, where's my bacon grease? Ow. I like to put a little bacon grease. Now don't dip it, touch it and put it back in. We're gonna get a new spoon. Um, but I always have bacon grease that I save and I'm just going to spread it all on the tops of the chicken. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. I don't know, this little guy lost some of his skin. Not sure what happened there. I probably should have done this before even putting the seasoning on, but I don't think it really matters. Okay, so when the meatballs are done meatballing, these are gonna go in, I'm gonna add a little bit more, into the air fryer at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. It just depends on the size of yours. Of course, I have the thermometer, so I'm going to put it in the thickest part of the meat without it touching the bone, and I'm gonna pull it at about, I mean, 165 is the temperature for chicken, so maybe a couple, even a couple degrees less than that because it will rise up a few degrees as it sits, and I can't wait to eat these cutting into this tri-tip. It looks beautiful. Let's see if I can do this without getting juice everywhere. Can you see? All right, so the meatballs are done. Let's check them out. Holy moly, those look amazing. All right, look at those. Heck yes. 15 minutes for them to be nice and crispy and yummy on the outside, but still juicy and lovely on the inside. Before we put the chicken in, can I just tell you the tri-tip? Money. For the thermometer for the chicken, so you wanna get it, like I said, close to the bone, without touching the bone, you just want it in the fat, the fattest part of the meat. And we're gonna plop these in. Oh, I almost dropped this whole thing. You can hit the chicken setting and move it over to, we'll do leg, and it will beep when it comes to temperature, or you can just set it at 400 degrees for about 
20 to 25 minutes until it comes to 165. Chicken is done. Let's see. It's going to be hot. But there we go. Rip it out. Okay, so obviously you saw that mine were having skin issues in the beginning that there wasn't much on, but let's see. Oh, yes. I mean, it's like, okay, I'm going to burn my mouth, but it's like a chip. You want to do it to 165 or until the juices run clear and all the juices are clear and it is delicious. I hope you guys liked this kind of video. Give me a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, share, all the things, and I'll see you next time.